Before this video starts, I want to thank you guys all for the awesome, very wholesome birthday wishes you guys have been throwing my way via Instagram, via Twitter, and just on YouTube overall, and email. Some, someone reached out to me via email, which was crazy. Thank you guys. I will really appreciate it if you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those are like the only social medias I have besides YouTube. Appreciate you guys. I love you guys. With that said, I think the best way to spend your birthday, it's not with friends and family. The best way to spend it is roasting and making fun of Sneeko everyone knows who Sneeko is I don't really gotta get into it we've talked about him a few times here on the channel and no you did not step into a time machine and you're back in 2023 shout out to Achito for letting me know of the situation so apparently Sneeko was making fun of a guy for being skinny which is extremely ironic considering Sneeko is skinny and tall he should be the last person judging anyone's physique just because a guy the nerd didn't look ripped and of course if you don't look like John Cena or a wrestler you're obviously weak and you're a loser and you're a baby who's taking advice from Sneeko in 2024 if you're taking advice from Sneeko this year you have some very serious issues to to address but with that said let's just get into Sneeko judging other people while you know looking like Sneeko it's called an Aoki lock it's a modified pill hook but jujitsu is for autistic people what I think of a master of jujitsu is is somebody that inspires another generation jujitsu I swear this is why I like striking this is so and this is a competition where you just it's an it's an art and it's an art form and I learned from the master. He looks like Mark Zuckerberg. He shouldn't be winning. You know what? I would love to see Sneeko box someone. How are you talking shit? But when you're confronted online on social media by Critical and anyone else, you fold. You're scared. It's like, I get what he's doing. You know, he needs to say something funny, crazy to stay relevant because ever since he got banned from YouTube, which at first I was a post of, I was not a fan of that until he started acting corny on kicked, showing guns, thinking he's the shit and got owned and pretty much got bitch slapped by Critical. It's like, dude, you're not a tough guy. You've never been a tough guy. I mean, just imagine if I, a commentary channel, I'm watching a fucking Brock Lesnar UFC fight and I'm like, yeah, Brock Lesnar is a bitch because he lost the title and it proves that he's not a real tough guy does that mean that i could kick brock lesnar's ass absolutely not i'll get destroyed by brock lesnar in like a second and he doesn't even need to touch me it's easy to be a keyboard warrior oh yeah brock lesnar mid i could take him on he he, he doesn't know how to fight because i'm a fight expert who's taking boxing lessons from Sneeko. That would be like taking dating advice from Jalen. It makes no sense. <laughs> like Sneeko should be the last person speaking here. He kind of looks like a nerd. He kind of looks like Mark Zuckerberg. Dude, I'm pretty sure this guy could kick your ass if he took off his glasses and if he was like 95% blind. You're not tough, Sneeko. You're a cuck. I cannot imagine being a Sneeko fan in 2024. Let's go, Sneeko. Show, show him. Show him how wrong they are. The only person that Sneeko could beat up is either a grandma or someone who doesn't have no legs. And even that, I'll still bet money on the guy with only arms. He looks like a nerd. He, It's like, dude, you shut up. You're such a fucking loser. <laughs> I want to see you in there. It's an art and it's an art for him, but I learned from the master. He looks like Mark Zuckerberg, you shouldn't be winning. So that's like a master to student. He's an idol of mine for being for <laughs> It's like a master to the student. Um, actually, this is a leg heel lock. He's saying he would make me tap. He probably would. He probably would. I mean, not probably. I'm pretty sure he could kick your ass, dude. <laughs> dude, you couldn't beat up anyone. Like, you straight up let your girlfriend be fucked by someone else and you were sitting on the chair crying. I'm looking into the guy a little bit more because I've never heard of him before. You know, that's just on me. I'm not really into uh, boxing or anything like that. The only reason why Sneak was picking on him is because... He's a typical nerd, you know, glasses, straight out of the early 2000s. He wears glasses. He has a nasally voice. Dude, who the fuck cares? He could kick your ass. You're a keyboard warrior. You talk so much trash. You show your gun. But when push comes to shove, you run. I mean, this guy's a four-time world champion. He's a five-time IBJJF black belt world champion and the first American to win more than one IBJJF world title at black belt. You know, the nerd that you're picking on... He could kick your ass like, yeah, this guy's ripped. <laughs> this guy has a pretty big social media following, almost a million followers. He was on the Joe Rogan podcast, world champion. I don't know. He seems chill. Like, why would you attack him? Because he wears glasses? Sneak was like an early 2000s bully and not in the cool way, in the corny way. Is a revolutionary grappler. The reigning one flyweight submission grappling world champion began training Brazilian jiu-jitsu at age four and entered one as a five-time IBJJF gold medalist. Another thing that's really unusual 
unusual about you is your diet. Yes. <laughs> you're famous you're famous for eating pasta and homemade pizza. I make pizza and pasta every night. I have a pizza oven in my house and I roll out the dough, make everything. <laughs> and then uh, for dessert, I'll eat a pint of acai. Yeah, the reason why Sneeko picked on him is because of the way he looks and the way he acts. He just seems like a cool guy. Like, what's there to bully? Let's not pretend like Sneeko has the best voice ever. And like, it's just so ridiculous to pick a fight with someone who could easily kick your ass in like five seconds. I already said this a million times. Sneeko is just a fake tough guy. And I'm not even here to ride this guy, but he just seems chill. Like, there was no reason to pick on him. This seems to me like the guy Sneeko would bully in high school and then completely get his ass kicked by him because he was like, oh, you wear glasses and you don't look so ripped. So I thought I could take advantage of you, but... You kicked my ass and you stole my girlfriend. And now you're, okay, now you're fucking here in front of me. Oh, okay, I, I, I get it. I get it. Uh, but I'm a red pill guy, I promise. Sneeko, comment Sneeko out. When was the last time Sneeko got a W? Oh, can anyone tell me? Was that like when he was working with Mr. Beast? So today I'm going to talk about bullies. Bullies are weak people that make fun of others around them. They Preach. give themselves relevance and they make themselves feel good. They pick on the differences of humans which is the most beautiful part of humans, their uniquenessness. I really don't like bullies, guys. And there's this guy named Sneeko making fun of me, making fun of my friend, making fun of jiu-jitsu. He calls himself a boxer. I'm a jiu-jitsu guy. Let's have an MMA fight. I challenge Sneeko to an MMA fight. I'm going to shut his mouth, and I'm going to take the bully's lunch money. Damn. Okay, now this is a fight that I will pay to see and not stream illegally. This is a fight worth watching. If Sneeko does not accept, it tells you everything about him. Because Sneeko is irrelevant. No one really talks about him except when he says dumb shit like this. He gets people talking. Like, that's the only reason why Sneeko's name gets brought up again and it gets views because they're making fun of him. But this guy seems to be doing well. He doesn't need anyone. He doesn't need the clout. He doesn't need the money. I'm sure this guy's loaded. He has to, you know, it seems like he has good people around him. It's like, if I was as irrelevant as Sneeko, right? Mil if I had a million subscribers at some point and then I get banned and then I'm on cake and then I'm a cuck and then, you know, I'm a loser and I fall off and all of that, I would be accepting this because this could bring... You know, legitness to my name. I need this if I were that irrelevant. Sneeko's not gonna accept. Why? Because he would get his ass kicked. I truly do believe Sneeko has an embarrassment fetish. He likes to be embarrassed in front of everyone and he gets extremely rock hard. That's my theory. I challenge Sneeko to an MMA fight. I'm gonna shut his mouth and I'm gonna take the bully's lunch money. I make jokes. I'm a streamer. I joke about everybody, me, chat, everything. Oh, oh my God, stop the cat. <laughs> No way! I knew he was gonna pull this. I'm, 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 uh, I'm a streamer, guys. I, I, I just tell jokes. I did not mean that. I'm just, I'm just playing. Uh, please don't embarrass me again. Like I've been embarrassed over the last few years. There's a difference between jokes and what you were doing. Oh yeah, you know, jujitsu is for like retards and autistic people. And look at this nerd, he looks like Mark Zuckerberg. But dude, this is exactly what you do all the time. You make fun of someone, someone replies, I was just playing. I'm trolling, I'm a streamer. This is going to be my next excuse. This is going to be my new excuse whenever someone calls me out. Sensitive is radicalizing the youth. I'm just trolling, I'm just a YouTuber. I'm just a streamer. I'm just a gamer. I was just playing guys, it's, it's, I'm just kidding. Nah, this is so embarrassing. How could anyone be supporting Sneeko after this? Like, this is your man? Your man can't even fight virtually. I make jokes, guys. I make jokes. I was just kidding. I don't wanna be beat up <laughs> by, by a quote unquote nerd. Nah, dude, <laughs> you suck. I'm a streamer. I joke about everybody, me, chat, everything, all day, every day. What? I said in that video you're upset about, you would make me tap in Br Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You would win. In MMA, even with striking, you would go, this is what you would do. Grab my heel and do the same shit you did to your master. You would win. You're a world champion. I train boxing sometimes. What the f do you think the result was gonna be? Is this a skit? I was, I was looking at this and reading through the comments like, is everybody pranking me? Is everybody in on some sort of joke? Comment Sneagle tactic. Say shit, be called out, play the victim. Bro, you were straight up saying, yeah, he could probably make me tap out. And right now you're like, he would, he would make me tap out. I, you know, I, I'm scared. Please don't come after me. <laughs> wow, dude. It just shows you his true character. This guy's straight up a bitch. Just straight up stop the cap. <laughs> You thought you were gonna do something. It's the same thing that happened with Critical. Pull out guns, claim you're hard, claim you're tough. Oh, he responded and he got 10 million views. 
Um, how about I back out of that? Time and time and time again, we've seen Sneeko call someone out, threaten someone, be a bully, and then when someone dares reply, he's hiding like a little bitch. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trolling. I'm a troll. But jujitsu is for autistic people. What I think of a master of jujitsu is, is somebody that inspires another generation. Jujitsu, I swear, this is why I like striking. This is so, and this is a competition where you just, it's an art and it's an art form, but I learned from the master. He looks like Mark Zuckerberg. He shouldn't be winning. <laughs> For it's like a master to the student of actually this is a leg heel lock he's saying he would make me tap he probably would not probably he would dude he would rock your shit in five seconds <laughs> no one would be mad at him i would pay for that fight show up show up it's embarrassing it's sad how can this be anyone's guy the person who has no morals he doesn't have any balls they got chopped off you know many years ago but you know i thought it would be regrowing at this point apparently not dude you're a bitch like straight up and the comment section seems to agree yeah Sneeko is a classic bully he picks fights with people way under his weight last but then when he gets confronted by a legitimately match like Brandon Buckingham that was another fight he dodged by the way he tucks his tail and runs for a cover like a little chihuahua it's really easy to be like yeah you look like a fucking nerd but wait until they respawn and if they can kick your ass dude you're fucking done but yeah, I just wanted to talk about that briefly I thought it was really funny comment Sneeko L if you still watch Sneeko in 2024 I don't know what to tell you. You need God to intervene. But with that said, what do you guys think of this situation? Please let me know in the comments below. Once again, thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. Thank you for subscribing, for notifications on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And with that said, I'll see you next time. Thank you guys. Peace out.